50 is a fairly large number. Here are 50 squares, 50 circles, 50 states. With all these states, how do you find a way to describe and understand the United States as one nation? Suppose you wanted to describe this garden. Would you try to describe every single bloom? No. It's more efficient to say, there's a row of white flowers in front, and behind that a row of purple, and then orange behind that, and so on. This description puts the flowers into groups. Now suppose you want to study this large chunk of land. Do you have to explore every single state? No. Put them into groups. The groups are formed according to what the states have in common. The groups are called regions. Regions have flexible boundaries, boundaries that aren't fixed like those of the states. Regional boundaries shift according to the kind of region you want to study. If you formed regions on the basis of the language that people speak, the entire country would become one region because most Americans speak English. The regions we form will be based on common landforms, common climate, 